Today we are talking about a new smartphone replacement called the Real Sam Pocket. No relation. Hey guys, it's Sam with the Blind Life. Welcome back to the channel where I help you learn how to live your best blind life. On this channel, I make videos about living life with vision loss, including assistive technology reviews like this one. So if that kind of content sounds good to you, please consider subscribing to the channel and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted every single time I post a new video, which is every Saturday, actually. Okay, let's talk about the Real Sam Pocket. So as I said, this is a new smartphone replacement called the Real Sam Pocket. It's actually been sold in the UK for several years now, and it's just now making its way to the US. But it's essentially specialized software running on a Samsung device. Of course, anyone can get this phone, but I think its real target market would be visually impaired seniors or anybody that struggles to use a smartphone. In fact, one of the claims of the Real Sam Pocket is that it's simple to use and friendly. The main way that it's simple to use is that 99% of the phone's functions are performed with voice commands. Just about everything you do, you do by talking to the phone. Now, for some people, that's gonna be great. Very little interaction with the actual screen. Uh, for some people, they might struggle with that, remembering all the different voice commands. But we'll talk about those concerns towards the end of the video. Good news is that this phone is compatible with all the carriers here in the US. So that's really, really cool. Other countries, Canada, Europe, I'm not sure. I would assume it's similar. Canada, it's like Rogers, Bell, TELUS. The UK, I'm not sure. But if you have any questions about that, or if you're interested in picking up a device of your own, I will have all that contact information located in the description of the video. Now, the phone's functionality is broken up into three basic categories. You have communication, so that's all the things you can do with the phone as a phone. Sending and receiving phone calls, sending and receiving text messages, adding contacts, which you can actually do with your voice with this phone, which is unique. Most smartphones, you can't add contacts with your voice. Then you have the assistant category, and that includes some of the helpful vision-related features like the magnifier, OCR, object detection. It does do all of that. You can set reminders. You can also get your location, your current location, and also nearby points of interest. You can even access Be My Eyes through the Real Sam Pocket. Pretty cool. And then the final category is entertainment, and you can actually do quite a few things on here. You have access to a ton of book libraries, audiobook libraries like Calibre, LibreVox. You can listen to radio, you can listen to podcasts. So quite a lot of entertainment options. When you get the real Sam Pocket, you obviously get the phone itself. You get this black TPU style case. You also get this very long lanyard, which is branded with the Real Thing AI logo. Real Thing AI is the manufacturer of the Real Sam Pocket. In the box, you get a quick start guide, you get the charging cable and plug, and a SIM eject tool. Welcome to Real Sam Pocket by Real Thing AI. So we are currently connected to Wi Fi and we have mobile data on a SIM card. And this is our main user interface. This is it. Pretty much nothing going on on the screen. There is a button, a large button in the bottom um, quarter of the screen, you could say. This is how you interact with the phone. You tap the button and talk to it. What time is it? The time is 15 minutes past 11 a.m. on Monday, October 10th, 2022. What's the weather? The weather is 62 degrees, clear. The forecast for today is sky is clear, minimum 42 degrees, maximum 69 degrees. So you can see it's pretty straightforward. You tap and you give the command and you get a response. If a follow-up command is needed, you will need to tap the button again in order to give the follow-up command. You do have a little hamburger style menu up here in the upper left. But if I tap on it, nothing really happens other than we get this little L shape. 
And this is actually to give us a little hint about what we need to do. We need to actually drag our finger in this L shape. So if I drag down and then over. Showing main menu, move your finger around the screen until you hear the item you want and then release. This is one of our menus, and as she said, we drag our finger, it will read out loud what it is underneath our finger, and then we just release our finger to choose it. Call number, settings, user guide, cited assistance menu, assistance call, turn on outdoor locations, done. Exiting menu. I'm going to go back into there. Showing main menu, move your finger around the screen until you hear the item you want and then release. I'm going to jump into settings. Call contact. Call number. Settings. There's settings, so I'm just going to lift my finger up. Exiting menu. And we exited that menu, but it actually jumped us into another menu. Um, it would be great if she had told me that, but that's okay. I'm going to put my finger down at the top. Configure Wi-Fi. There's the Wi-Fi. Change keyboard type currently QWERTY. Uh -huh, keyboard. S set media volume. Set ring volume. Set media volume. Change rank down. Auto dim settings. Change speech recognizer currently Google. Power off behavior currently confirmed. Disabled start call on speaker. Done. Showing main menu. So there were a couple um, options you can change in the settings. A lot to do with the ringtone and how some of the options are configured on the phone. So first things first, using it as a phone, um, you can use your voice to dial a phone number. You can use your voice to call a contact. You can use your voice to add a contact, which is really cool. That's something you can't do on other mobile devices using your voice. So let's go ahead and call a number. I have another phone here. Dial 85-35. Calling 8535. Press the side button to cancel. Okay, I muted this one so we didn't get that terrible feedback. But now you can see our call screen here. We have all of our numbers displayed in a very large keypad. And then once again, in the same spot as your tap to talk button, you have a large red hang up button. So in the bottom quarter of the screen. So this is nice if I needed to put in numbers for say an online banking password information, I could just tap, put my finger down. There's the eight. Four. Four, and I lift it up, and then it just entered that four. Eight, nine, six. And of course, if I want to hang up. Hang up. They did. And just ended that phone call. Bring our other phone back in here, and we will try calling a contact. So I'm going to just tap the button again. Call Sam. Calling Sam. Press the side button to cancel. Sam and I press the, the side. Call was ended. And I just press the side button to end the call. Now let me show you how to receive a phone call. I'm going to call this number from my other phone. Call Sam Work. Call from Sam, tap, accept, or press the side button to reject. And once again... So, once again, the accept button to answer the call was in that same location, bottom quarter of the screen. That's where all your buttons are basically going to be. They're always going to be in that section. You can also, of course, send a text message with your voice. Send a text message to Sam. What should the text message say? Hey, comma, what is going on today? Question mark. Your text message to Sam says, hey, what is going on today? Would you like to send it? Yes. Message sent. Just got the message. 
Add contact. Please say the name or number, or both, for the contact, or say go back. Robert, 555-123-4567. Contact saved. Contact name. Robert. Number. 555-123-4567. You can call, text, change name or number, delete, or say finish to continue. Adding a contact by voice, super convenient, but you can also go on to the website and then load in all of your contacts in bulk and then have those all sent to your phone. So if you've got 150 contacts, you don't wanna put them in one by one. They do offer that option, adding them in bulk through the website. All right, let's talk about the digital assistant. This also has some really helpful vision-related features. So you have a built-in magnifier. This can do OCR, including handwriting, which is really, really cool. And it even is linked up with Be My Eyes. So if you're familiar with Be My Eyes, you can open up a call to a, to a helper, an assistant, and they will see through your camera, and then whatever you need help with, they can help. Please note though, I always like to caution, be my eyes, these are just random people out there in the world that have signed up to be volunteers. So be careful what information you share with them and what information you point your camera at. Don't ask them to read your bank statement or anything like that. <laughs> Next, we'll check out the magnifier. Open magnifier. Magnifier starting. Okay, we've got some paper here we can uh, magnify. And so, works pretty well. It just uses your camera, um, like other digital video magnifiers. And you can pinch to zoom. Zoom in or zoom out. If you just tap. Focus does the focus. We have some buttons around the outside edges here. If I tap this, turn on flash. Turn on flash. So if I let go, it turns on the flashlight. Top right, we have the exit button. We're not going to press that one just yet. And then we have some more buttons down at the bottom. Zoom in. Zoom in. Freeze. Freeze. Zoom out. Zoom out. Focus. I just took a screenshot of this text using the freeze button. And now we have some more options on the screen. Show menu. You open the menu. Hide. Contrast up. Contrast down. Brightness up. Brightness gray. Reverse. Blue yellow. Yellow blue. Black ye black green. Black blue. Reset. So we have all of our different color filters in that menu. We also have a button here. Show actions. Text recognition. Detect object. Text recognition, detect object. Text recognition. I'm gonna go to text recognition. Sending your request. Images processing. Processing finished. The text in the images. Open mic night. Join us for the annual Health of Voices. Open mic night, where attendees come to share a song, a poem, a skit. And sent this text recognition off to the cloud somewhere, processed it, and came back with the results pretty quickly and very accurately too. So that's definitely something to note. Uh, this feature will only work if you are connected to the internet. All right, now we're gonna do that object recognition. So I've got just a, a regular charging plug here. Frozen. All right, we've got our picture of the phone charger. Now I'm going to go to that button here in the middle. Show actions. Hide. Text recognition. Detect object. Sending your request. Images processing. Processing finished. The objects in the image are adapter, chair, furniture. So same process as before with the text recognition. It sends it off, it processes it, comes back with the results once again very quickly. Now I came back with several different results and these types of programs, object recognition, usually the first result back is the most confident result. And in this case, it did say adapter, which basically what it is, it's a charging plug. You can also get your current location with the device. So I can tap it and say, where am I? You are close to 500 and... <laughs> Kentucky, approximately 360 feet from the corner of... 
Okay, I will probably bleep all of that out, <laughs> just so you guys don't know where I am, but it did give me my exact address. And then finally, we have entertainment. Now, I'm not gonna go through all the different things you can do, uh, but I'll demonstrate some of it, uh, like for reading books. Search for a book. Listing available book sources. One, recent books. Two, my bookshelf. Three, Caliber Audio, 4, LibriVox Audiobooks, 5, Torch Trust Library, 6, Project Gutenberg. Say a number or words from the options. So she gave a little hint there. I can either say the number associated with my choice or I can actually say the words. So I could say LibriVox or I could give the number. 3. Caliber Audio is a national charity providing a free audiobook service for anyone with a disability that makes reading print difficult or impossible. With over 12,000 professionally narrated audiobooks and unlimited borrowing, Caliber members can listen on demand, via memory stick, or on a smart speaker or the real Sam Pocket phone. Select a book. Initial five of thousands. 1. Clouds, by Aristophanes. 2. History of the Decline and Fall of the Roman Empire. One. You selected clouds. Say, play, or go back, or add to my bookshelf. Description. Strepzades is an Athenian burdened with debt from a... Add to my bookshelf. Clouds added to your bookshelf. Say, play, or go back. Play. Reading clouds. Starting part I. Please wait. Part one of the clouds. Recording by expatriate in Bangor, Maine. The clouds by Aristophanes. Translated by William James Hickey. Part one. Scene. The interior of a sleeping apartment. Strepsiades, Phidippides, and two servants are in their beds. So lots of book options, lots of free book options. Um, I'm not crazy about the narrator of that last one, <laughs> their voice, something about their voice. But uh, it's cool that you have that option. You can download a bunch of different books and have them right on the device. We also have podcasts available through the Real Sam Pocket. Play a podcast. I have podcasts from eight sources. The first five are 1. Real Sum Collection, RC. Number 1. Fine. I have many RC podcasts. 1. All Ghoul Blind Tech Shows. 2. Audio Pizza. 3. Blind Abilities. Ooh, 4. Blind Abilities. Blind Bargains Audio. Oh, Blind Featuring Bargains. Featuring the BB Cast, Technology News, Interviews, and more. 5. Bold blind beauty on a dot i dot r. Select one or say next to move on. Oh, this is really cool. Um, I haven't actually been in here yet, so I didn't realize. Uh, bold blind beauty. I've worked with her. Um, the blind bargains. I know those guys. JJ and Joe. I know those guys really well. Blind abilities. That's a very well known podcast, also. So let's try blind bargains. Sure. I have many episodes of Blind Bargains Audio, featuring the BB cast, technology news, interviews, and more. 1. Kunat 22 Audio, inclusive map viewing through any browser with Audium, from 24th of June. 2. Kunat 22 Audio, of May. 3. Right. Playing Kunat 22 Audio. Finding layers of context with the dynamic tactile device from APH. Directly and actually in person from Anaheim, it's blindbargains.com coverage of CSUN 2022. Cancel. Okay, it's canceled. So that's pretty funny. I was actually at that conference and I saw uh, the Blind Bargains guys at that conference. So that's pretty cool. They, I think they even interviewed me at that conference. So I might be in one of those podcasts somewhere. <laughs> 
So really cool. Uh, you see how quickly it started playing that podcast. Now, once again, I am on Wi-Fi right now. Uh, so if you were out and about, you would just need to be on a mobile plan that offered mobile data. Now, you can't install new apps on this device. Uh, they will add new apps probably in future updates, and you do get updates for two years. So if you want to see what apps are installed on the device, it's listed in the menu, but you can also ask. List apps. The currently installed apps can be found in the menu under open external app. Currently installed are Gmail, camera, calendar, Google Maps, WhatsApp, Outlook, and Microsoft Teams. So I've had the Real Sam Pocket for a couple weeks now, and I've used it off and on. Um, I can say that I haven't had any issues with call quality. I'm currently using it on the AT&T network, and it works fine. I mean, it's a Samsung phone. So you know the hardware at least is going to be high quality. The software seems to work really well. They do have the claim of being simple and easy to use and it really is. I mean there's not much to it as far as user interface. You've got a big button. You just press the button and talk to it. The only downside I see to this device is the fact that the majority of the user interface is done through voice commands. In most situations that's going to be fine. But I, I don't know about you guys, but I'm in a lot of situations quite often where maybe it's too loud for me to talk to my phone or the opposite. It's too quiet. Maybe you're in the waiting room at a doctor's office. Maybe you're at church and it's not socially acceptable to just start talking to your phone. You do have a headphone jack on the bottom of the phone, which is great. At least with the headphones, you can get some privacy while you're listening to the device. Other than that, it would be nice to see if they add in some more apps and features in the future. Uh, it's kind of limited in the things that it can do right now. Uh, even basic features like the ability to set an alarm or set a timer or a stopwatch. I understand who the phone is geared towards, but it seems like simple functions like that would be helpful as well. Okay guys, so that was a look at the Real Sam Pocket. Once again, if you have questions or you're looking for more information, I will have contact links in the description down below. And while you're down there, if you have any questions for me, please leave those in the comments down below as well. Of course, you can always reach me at theblindlife.net and on all of my other social media platforms. All those links will be down in the description below. And since I haven't done it in a while, a huge thank you to all of my channel members being displayed on the screen right here. As always, guys, if it wasn't for you, a lot of this wouldn't be possible, so I truly appreciate it. If you'd like to be a channel member and possibly have your name displayed on the screen right here in a future video, or join us for one of our monthly members-only Zoom calls, then check out the description down below, information listed down there. You can also go to the membership tab on my YouTube channel. But that is it, guys. Sam with the Blind Life, thank you again for watching, and I will see you next time.